So without further ado, Dr. Ed McLaren. Thanks, Jeff. And I, I do have to do a little marketing thing on, on Argon, which I normally don't do for companies because I'm not paid by them today. I'm doing this as a favor today for them uh, because of the things that they've done for us, not money-wise, but given us materials at uh, UCLA when we needed help over the years. Uh, the company vision or the company policy, they will never go direct to dentists. But they are always going to, it's always going to be directed through a laboratory. So all of their products, which I somewhere near 100, I think, is going to always include you as a dental technologist. These are the burrs that Ron Goldstein developed for composite finishing. And they're, they're awesome for zirconia because they barely cut. They can just push real hard and they're, they're great. Now you don't contour with them, you surface texture with them. So I'm gonna do, whenever I place surface texture, and I found I do three motions. So if I'm gonna cut an incisal gingival groove, if I just go in there with a burr, what happens is it looks like I just scratched the surface. So the only way that I found it works, I'll, I'll do the incisal gingival movement, okay? But then to make it look semi-okay, I have to turn the burr 90 degrees to the main direction of the groove and go like in a circular pattern from the top of the ridge to the depth of the groove. That's what I'm doing there with the burr from the left, and then I go 180 degrees, and I go from the top of the ridge to the depth of the groove. And so that's how I do all movements, and that seems to come out okay. Then I'll paint the occlusal. It's not, I just put orange color so you can see it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fire it. I usually use a little bit of proximal color, and I'll maybe use a little white okra on the cuss tips. Uh, and then usually when I do a case, because I am at a university, I'm going to make it out of two different materials. So I made it out of lava and argon there, and you can see that's monolithic, guys. Now, can you get that every time? No. Obviously not. That was a normal colored prep underneath, of course, you know. If you have a discolored prep, you're not going to get that kind of result. But if you have a normal colored prep, you can get a pretty nice result. Yes, I internal and external colorized it. Okay.